Coming up today on This Is True, really out of, really There's out. more? Yeah, we got to do the other show for the, the third oh. item. Uh, the, hmm. I, coming uh, up today on This uh, Is True, really out of news. What? I was reading my own headline and. This is true, really out of news? This is true, really news. Oh. Monkeys in India. That sounds interesting to you. Please like, subscribe, and follow. This is True Really News. Dude, I just watched the second installment of The Hunger Games. Monkeys oh, yeah? frightened me. Yeah. I got a kick out of The Hunger Games. I thought they did okay with that. I did. Yep. But um, those monkeys were scary in the second one. Of course they were. Hunk, hunk, hunk. Yeah, and they're, they're roaring, growling. They were bitey. They were much scarier than the dog mutation things they did in the first one. Yeah. In any case, um, not see, nearly as scary as the leader of, of District 13, who we haven't quite met yet. Okay. Um, where was I? I said, like, subscribe, and follow wherever you find yep. us, please. And thank, thank you, you because it's working very well and it's helping us. We don't know why. But now, if you want to send us a, a longer note or send us a story or stories that you think we should cover, please send those to TITR at netradio.network. Don't even need a stamp. No, but you can stamp okay. all you want. For you younger people, Google stamp. Yeah, there we are. U.S. U.S. Post. Oh, don't Google U.S. Postal Service. That'll just disappoint you. This is True Really News with Scott Combs and Tony Vercanis. All the news you're about to hear is true. Really? As far as you know. So apparently, it took Naval Academy plebes. Got your pen and paper out? Two yep. hours, 19 minutes, 11 seconds. To accomplish the ultimate in upward mobility, scaling a greased obelisk. Oh, really? And swapping out a cup with a cap with a bit of a hitch this year. Uh, the old cup cap swap. These are the folks that will be defending our freedoms. You know, the three. Well, that's freedoms. great. If we're ever fighting a greased obelisk, I know it'll only be a few hours long. I would send in the Navy right there. <laughs> of course, we only have three or four rights left anymore. So mm. the annual grueling, slippery ritual marking the completion of the plebe year ended with 20 year old Californian Ben Lysagong standing victorious on the shoulders of scores of his classmates. That takes trust. And placing an upperclassman's hat atop the Herndon Monument. The problem is the guy on the bottom's shoulders are now at his hips. Yes. <laughs> and his feet are four feet below the surface of the ground. The Actually, class of 27 work together, yes. They set it up almost like Buck Buck, except it's vertical. So they've got a lot of guys at the bottom, and they build this really tall pyramid. Yeah, they're yeah. building a human pyramid. I was just thinking it was, you know, one guy on top of another like a human ladder. Then the shoulders go to the hips. I put the biggest guys on the bottom then. Just yeah, that saying. seems to be. Class of 27 worked together to scale the 21-foot obelisk. That's only six meters. Did you know that? Yeah. I had guessed. It was. <laughs> Whereas I worked together, scaling a 21-foot obelisk covered in vegetable shortening to replace a plebe Dixie cup. A white canvas sailor's hat with the upturned. You've all seen those. Yeah, yeah. And they have to put the upperclassmen's more formal hat atop that. There we go. About 1,300 plebes in the class, according to Academy spokesperson Ella Elizabeth B. Wrightson. After the climb's complete, they called forth class midshipmen, not plebes. Mm. Said that the person who gets the hat to the top of the monument will be the first admiral in the class. Oh. See, I thought it might have something to do with how they do in classroom and... Under rainy skies in Annapolis, Maryland, plebes length arms around the monument's base to build a giant pyramid, clearing grease from the monument's surface and enduring a constant soaking spray from several hoses brought to the party. <laughs> this is the kind of hazing I can live with. See, that I can do. There's a reason behind this. Yeah. And it's kind of fun. Yeah. And it marks, you know, look, we did something hard. We got through that first year and we're moving along. I like that. You bastards didn't kill us. We're still here. <laughs> My dad uh, was and his brother were hazed during college for their fraternity. Said they spent all night out on the Gettysburg battlefield looking for clues to other things. Said, boy, it was cold. That's a date night. Yeah, there you are. 
This from Ranker out of India. Monkeys are an issue in India. Yeah. For instance, a monkey from Berili who stole a bus and oh. smashed it into two other buses oh. before the driver could regain control of the vehicle. <laughs> Spokesperson said, <laughs> Get it? Monkeys have become a regular menace at bus stations and workshops where they often uh -oh. fiddle with vehicles undergoing repair. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> they have also damaged CCTV cameras at stations. Uh -oh. <laughs> Three years back, we had the help of municipal authorities to get rid of them, but they have returned. <laughs> Story two, a man from New Delhi, a legend. <laughs> Wait, now it turned into a wolf monkey. Yeah, I was going to say, man from New Delhi allegedly opened fire in a restaurant after his waiter refused to eat his leftovers. Touching story of a young couple. According she, to the story. A handsome wolf. He, <laughs> a lecherous monkey. Could they according, find happiness? According to the story, the man was intoxicated, and after the shooting, he was charged with attempted murder. Ah, great, you're doing well, India. Hey, if the monkey assassin's a thing, <laughs> wolf monkey can be a thing. The proudest man in India, Mohammed Kurshid Hussein, set a world record for typing a sentence in 47.44 seconds with his nose. Sir, in the back there with the face. Why? No, so you, why? <laughs> so, you know, previous record was 1 minute 33 seconds. Thank you. I knew there had to be one. It was also said in India. Of course it was. And finally. No, oh, thank you. Ani K. from Kerala, India, who uses his tongue to paint wonderful portraits. Are they? One point K. was painting portraits with his nose. But then he discovered another nose painter out there and gave up saying, I'm always trying to do something different. So he's got that licked. Oh. So I know it's a long way to go, but. Wow. Oh man. <laughs> did you tell me I didn't? I did, but not now. <laughs> oh. I made myself laugh cough. Oh, my. Wow. We took that whole trip. Yep. To get there. Oh, yeah. Well, you had to realize how goofy India can be. I, I am simply it's kind of delightful. By the by, I think I have a mess more of those stories. So, of course, a, lot. a Colorado woman's attempt to steal a pickup truck shortly after she was released from jail on a car theft charge. Was thwarted, I say. Is this called recidivism? No. This is back to we're a stupid species. <laughs> so recidivism is a fait accompli. Oh, wait for it. She okay. Remember, it was an attempt to steal the pickup truck. Oh. <laughs> she was thwarted, however. Thwarted, I say. By police officers? No, I'm thinking no. The, the, the truck's shift. owner. The truck's owner? Really? No. No. Come on. The stick shift? That was it. <laughs> Manual <clears throat> transmission. You know what we old timers have got on the youngsters today? We old. can write in cursive. We can drive a stick. Yep. We could, we could even sentence. bump start a, a, a. We could write a full sentence that they could. They would go, what is that? What? what how? Why is there all, the, there are all these words? There's no emojis. According to the Boulder Police, women had been released from jail May 3rd. Oh, my wife's birthday. After being yeah. accused of stealing a car a day earlier and walked down the road until she spotted a pickup truck with the keys inside. Well, come on. It's a truck with the keys inside? That's an invitation, How man. can you turn? I mean, the truck was asking for it. Yeah. So she started the pickup, but apparently discovered that she couldn't quite manage the intricate movements of a manual transmission. <laughs> so she got out and walked away. Leaving the truck to roll ever so forward into a fire hydrant. Tell me it didn't knock it off the... Oh, I'm 
guessing. Just so you know, a fire hydrant, if you knock it off, is not going to gush out water like you see. Right. Yeah. Right. But it's going to be expensive to replace. Yep. So the woman's arrested. She has a court date at the end of the month. New charges now of motor vehicle theft, careless driving, driving without a license, and failing to report a crash. Well, and probably what? Violating parole? Yeah, well, the truck was returned to its owner. And and washed, I guess. <laughs> Police titled their social media post, Stick Shift for the Win. Yay! Stick this someplace. Oh, who knew mm. evil could be so easily thwarted? Uh, now I want my Honda back. Are you ready? Oh, the green one. Yeah. I love that, that car. That was a fun little beast. It was. There are at least three of us wandering the state of Minnesota with one. With uh, that color green? Because yep. it was a bright, bright. What do you? What would you even call it? Not lime not, green. No, it's a darker. It's not like a forest green. Yeah, forest green. It was a, I want a car that when you glance at it looks black, and then when you really see it in the light, it's dark green. Yeah, I've seen those around. No, it was a. All my relatives refer to it as the booger. So. <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't. It didn't. That's look not like funny that. to me. <laughs> oh Lord. From the UK Independent via Ronnie Tucker. Our man in Scotland, apparently, or our man from Scotland, our man from Glasgow. Ooh, I like that. And There's I'll a ju- novel in that. <laughs> our man from Glasgow. Man from Glasgow. It involves drinking and what waking up What if a man from Glasgow met, met a woman from Glas- Go. Oh, Glasgow? Glasgow. Oh. That's how we always pronounce it. Yep. Yep. In and Arab. they got married in where? Arab, Alabama. Arab, Alabama. That's right. Henry Cho's relatives could be there. This would be good. Or at least weird. An Algerian man, he said, pushing on, who went missing as a teenager, was found alive in the cellar of his alleged kidnapper's home after 26 years. So poor, he's in his 40s now? Yeah. Yeah, I, he'd have to be. Omar bin Omran left his family home in Jelfa City in 1998 to attend a vocational school and never returned. The Did disappearance? He return? No, he never returned. His fate is finally learned. Yes, it is. The 17 year old's family uh, believed he had been killed in a civil war between the Algerian government and Islamist rebels. Mr. Omran, now 45, was rescued from the house of his alleged captor and neighbor. Located 200 meters from his family home. For how long? 26, 26 years. years. That's Mr. just... <laughs> Mr. Amran's family reportedly tipped off law enforcement officials after the suspect's brother suggested his sibling was involved in an abduction on social media. They so, can abduct you on social media? N- n- no, what he said was that my brother abducted somebody and he said on that social on media. social media. Got it. Right. Hey, it's early in my day. <laughs> the authorities reopened the investigation and searched the man's house, discovering a trap door hidden beneath. Hey. You? Get off of my clock. <laughs> Mr. Omran was rushed to a medical center for treatment. Wait a minute. What? A trap door covered by hay. Hey. Not even a rug. Nope. Nothing clever. Nope. We are a stupid species. The suspect would be, ta- is, according to the attorney general's office, will be taken into custody for the heinous crime. Really? The suspect had been accused of also killing Mr. Omran's dog as it kept lurking around the suspect's house in the month after the teenager's disappearance. That might have been a clue. Sadly, Mr. Omran's mother, who reportedly never stopped looking for her son, died in 2013. Oh, that's a sad story. Yeah. Found him, Mom. Yeah. Next door. Under <laughs> some freaking hay over a <laughs> trap door. Trap door, yeah. Right? The good news is your boy can live a fulfilling life from here on, but I'm guessing that there's a lot of repercussions involved in being kept as a prisoner for 26 years, just 200 yeah. meters from your home. This is true, really news. Send email to TITR at netradio.network.